So I just wanted to talk about whether NFTs are for you, whether that's as a musician or whether as a fan or an investor. Hey everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. How are you doing today? So very different surroundings today. So I'm in a hotel room because I'm traveling for work. So let's have a look at it from a musician perspective. Now I had a tweet um, come out on my Twitter feed today from an artist called Fused and he's a great synth pop artist and he basically said I can't see the point of NFTs and I responded back to him saying well you do specific limited runs of CDs and they're very special and once they've sold out they're sold and so that's quite similar to a music NFT and Fused actually agreed with me and said yeah makes sense absolutely makes sense and Thinking about that, the benefit of NFTs for music is that on the secondary market, when that resells on say eBay, so he's done his run of CDs, he's put them to fans from on Bandcamp, for example, they've purchased those CDs and then those fans have sold them on eBay. Fused won't get a revenue stream from the secondary sales because that doesn't exist in Web 2.0. But in Web3, it does exist. And that's what's so cool about music NFTs is because for the lifetime of that NFT on that blockchain, on that platform, for example, means that the original artist, the original musician will always get the revenue back from secondary sales. And at the time of minting the NFT, the artist has control over a certain percentage, and there's usually a limit of say 20% or 10%, depending on which platform you use, to say, okay, for every secondary sale that I ever receive, third sale, fourth sale, it's infinite, every time that is sold on the secondary market, I'm gonna receive 10% of that. And as a musician, that is huge because that's not really something that's ever been possible before. So I think that's a massive advantage for musicians. Now, if we have a look at a fan perspective, now it's going to take somebody to be interested in a specific artist that then does music NFTs for it to really work. But there are a lot of Web3 artists coming on board. They have that haven't really released anything in Web2 and just want to release in Web3. And there's a whole ecosystem in Web3 where discoverability is very possible. So even if you haven't put music out before, if you've been reluctant because of the revenue from streaming services, for example, there's that opportunity to still get fans via Web3 rather than Spotify or YouTube or all of the traditional methods that we've had before possible. So fans are not only from Web2, but from Web3 as well. And I think that's really cool because that's, that's more potential of an audience of a musician. So from a fan perspective, if that's a fan web two person, let's say somebody loves Boy George as an artist and he's creating a NFT album soon, which is actually true, then that fan will feel, wow, I'm owning an NFT by Boy George, the whole album, it's not available anywhere else. It was a limited run, I've, I've grabbed one of those, I now own it and I can flip it if I want to on the secondary market, or because I'm a hardcore fan, I'm gonna keep that. And that rarity and scarcity is so important to fans. It's just offering something special. You know, that's how I see it. That's why I love music NFTs. From the point of view, obviously flipping is quite important because they want to purchase the music NFT. Maybe they utilize functionality such as offers if that's on the platform. So let's say the list price is too high um, it may be that the functionality for the platform allows offers to be utilized. So let's say that that's a, let's say the single comes out for a hundred pounds, but you put in an offer of say 80. And then if that musician's happy, they'll accept that offer. And then you've got that NFT for 80 pounds or $80. And then you can flip that on the secondary market because you've already undercut everybody that's purchased it before, but now let's say it's sold out. So you're now releasing it on the secondary market for profit. So there's a lot of investors. Now investors are typically more assigned to cryptocurrency. 
But there's a lot of people, particularly on the Twitter space and YouTube space, sorry, that I follow, that has, has done really well out of just flipping NFTs. And I think that's really cool. So you've got your musicians that benefit, the fans that benefit. Let's say also from a fan perspective that now they can actually contact the original artist. Whereas before, if you bought a CD, you had no chance. Let's say that now gives you access to a Discord channel. So you can now talk directly with the artist. That is huge. So I just think, I still think music, music NFTs are the way forward. I think they benefit the musicians, fans and investors. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I just love the space. You know, there's a whole ecosystem around this stuff and the technology. And that's why I try to feature as much as possible on my YouTube channel. So make sure you hit a sub if possible and give this video a like if you like it. So take care everyone, speak to you soon, bye.